So, you've been invited to a game of Dungeons and Dragons, and you're not sure about the rules or how to begin, but the other DM and players are trying to help you out. Well, in these videos, I want to try and introduce the basic concepts of what you need to start a game of Dungeons and Dragons as a player. And I've got a list of about 10 videos. I'm going to put it in a playlist, uh, link it somewhere here. And yeah, I really hope this helps you out. And as a new player, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And if I don't get back to you, someone else in the community, I'm sure will be more than welcome to answer these questions. We're all in it together. We're all here to have fun and to help each other out. So the list of videos is uh, the five things you need to actually start playing the game, making a character. And these are five basic things. Uh, I won't spoil it, but check out the video. The next thing is a video all about classes. This is just a short introduction to all the different classes in the base game. We won't tell you which classes to pick, but uh, there's recommended starter classes that are a team of four players. Uh, they'll have the best synergy. And yeah, as a beginner, just play it safe, and if you're feeling more adventurous and confident, then you can try one of the other classes. The next thing I want to cover is the backgrounds. Now, the backgrounds don't influence the game mechanically very heavily, but they do influence the story, the plot, and who your character is, what their motivations are, and it helps add an extra layer of depth to your character. The next four videos I want to cover are the four base classes. Uh, there's going to be a video on playing the fighter from level one to five, the cleric, the wizard, and the rogue. Now, these are the recommended base classes. If you're a more advanced player, you can check out the subclasses guides I've got. I've got thousands and millions of subclass guides. Check them out in the description. And the last two videos, I want to do a video specifically about the wizard schools because they're such a big part of the wizard that I don't think I'd be able to cover them in the basic level one to five. And another one about cleric domains because there's just such a plethora of cleric domains to choose from. But uh, yeah, I hope this helps you and good luck with your game.